and everything is in between or six days old. There's two Muslim guys, guys, are arguing about betting is haram. So the first... Hi, uh, this is a continuation of uh, my video series called uh, Christian Prince Dismantling Islam, also known as Dismantling Islam with Christian Prince. And if you haven't seen his videos, I'll just let you know that the reason why I'm recording them, making this series, is because his videos are usually too long to download. I just You have to break them up. And the way to know how to break them up is by putting a camera on them. It's not going to be top quality. You're not going to be able to see the words very well. But it's the voice. It's the message coming through in audio that is the most important thing here. So, uh, just to let you know that Christian Prince is a native Arabic speaker, so you can't accuse him of not knowing Islam due to uh, not knowing uh, uh, Arabic. I mean, he knows Arabic inside and out, and he knows the Quran inside out. And I've had him as a uh, sensei. Well, I. A teacher of Islam for over a decade now, starting when he was uh, investigate Islam on YouTube. At least that's when I came in on him. And his first video that really blew me away was uh, a video about Takiya, where uh, he was taking Quran 328 and showing how Muslims can lie. How they're actually commanded to lie. They're not supposed to take you as friends or helpers uh, or be cut off from Allah. The threat doesn't come from the Christian or the Jew, it comes from if you from from Allah if you take a Jew or Christian as a friend, unless you guard against them, and others don't really mean it. So anyway, I thought that uh, I would uh, continue to make this series, even though no one's watching them. <laughs> I mean, they really aren't. So, but anyway, if I, I want to tell you something, I make videos. They're not very good. They're not. They're, they don't have quality visual to them but if there's someone who likes the message maybe you can make your own videos and expose Islam like David Wood. David Wood is like the king of making great videos when it comes to exposing Islam. He is. He's the king. I, I, I don't hold a candle to that guy. So anyway I'll continue the series. Bye. First one he said to the second one Okay, do you want to bet that betting is haram? I'm going to move this up a bit. What the heck? Abu Huraira, the father of the cats. Huraira, by the way, is a spoiled name of cats. So this guy he is known to have a lot of cats because Muslims believe he that cats them. are clean and dogs are dirty. However, the cat... It's right here. Old. Go back a little bit. And then they quote for us chapter 7, verse number plus and minus 2 okay, billion years old. This is what the Muslims are saying in their article. The fiction article. Now, look what they are saying here. Our solar system is 4.57 uh, billion year old. Earth started, started uh, occur, uh, etc. Currently, with the sun and the neighbor neighboring planets, 4.57 billion year ago. So the Muslims now believe that the Earth is exist. 4.5 billion, 57 billion years ago. But the universe is exist 13.7 billion years. By the way, science doesn't say that because science don't, don't know anything about the age of the universe because what we know about the universe is very limited. Anyone who says that is a very stupid statement. How you can know the age of the universe if you even you are not able to to measure even the age the age of the earth correctly because every scientist they give you different different theory they have theories however we will go with the muslims the theory they accept and they like so then they say to you that the the, the places of the the age of the earth at one third of the age of the universe so the earth age is one third of the age of the universe which is 4.57 all right and then Muslims say, Muslims, read, read with me, guys, not me. Please read with me carefully. Muslims says that this is what Allah says. How? The Quran says that God's throne, time, uh, earth, is two days 
old while the heaven and the earth everything is between our six days what 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 <coughs> let me read that again Quran says that God that is in God the throne time earth two days old while the heaven earth and everything is in between or six days old and then they quote for us chapter 7 verse number 54 Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days and the funny they are using the word even their translation they are using the word days and settled on the throne after that and then they quote for us chapter 41 verse number 9 say it is that they deny unto him who created the earth in two days and then they quote for us chapter 50 verse number 38 that we have created the earth the heaven and the earth and everything between in six days the fact here we have a mistake why because if we go in the Quran we will see especially if you are reading chapter 41 verse number 9 you will see that the total count of the ver of, of the days where Allah created the earth and the heaven is eight days which is going to be a contradiction with the chapter 7 verse number 54 however I, we are going to show you another contradiction from the mouth of Muhammad and I want to know how the Muslims they made the six days where the Quran says that clearly become billions of years how two days became billions how six days became billions and why the Quran is using six days is not using billions of years the Muslim they say here that the Quran is using the days of Allah and the days of Allah are not equal to our day but the Quran my friend saying that the day of Allah is equal to 1,000 years, not billions of years, which is something he copied from the Bible. And the funny, they are the one who quote for us the verse saying that, that one day for Allah is equal to 1,000 years of our count. They are the one who's quoting it. So how the 1,000 year day, one day, guys, let us calculate, one day is equal to 1,000 year. As long as the Muslims are taking it in literate way, so we have to take it in literate way. It's not a metaphorical speech. Now, how the 13 or the 4.5 billion year became six days. If Allah in the Quran himself is giving us definition of how much years of his day is equal to our time he said there with the clear words that 1000 years of your time is equal to one one day of my time <coughs> you see how the muslims are stupid now we go back to what muhammad he said however if you want to read the whole article you can read because it's going to show you how muslims are trying to fool you with their lies and here they start saying all those days are on the throne on the throne guys was Allah on the throne they are claiming that those days was on the throne but Allah was not in the throne Allah was on the earth when he created the earth and the heaven and we can prove that easy from the same verses they quote for us let me show you the verse we just showed you actually already you know it says that Allah he left himself in the top of the throne after he finished the creation you see it the same chapter chapter 7 verse number 54 and that means Allah was not on the throne otherwise how he was on the throne but he left himself to the throne after he finished Lou your Lord is the one who created the heaven and the earth in six days and then he mounted himself on the throne so this is not what he was in the throne Allah obviously was in the earth and Muhammad himself, he said that the first thing Allah created was the clay on Saturday. Not the space and not the galaxy and not the stars. And which clay Allah is talking about? 
Which clay Allah is talking about? The clay of the earth. Because here right after, he mentioned, he mentioned the mountains and then he mentioned the trees. So he's not talking about different earth or different galaxy. He's talking about our earth. And then you will see if we count together the days Allah, he created the earth and the heaven according to a Muhammad hadith. Let me, let me uh, make it zoom in so you guys can see better. I hope now it's more clear. Let me take this off so you guys you can read better. All right. <clears throat> All right. So look, it looked like Muslims they understand the Quran better than Muhammad, and Muhammad was an idiot, stupid. Muhammad. He said the following, as we said, he created the clay in Saturday, which means the first of the creation of God, it was the clay. And then, this is Saturday. And then he created the mountains on Sunday. And then he created the trees in Monday. <clears throat> he created things entitling labor in Tuesday. And he created the light on Wednesday. And he caused the animals to spread on Thursday. I don't know when he created them. <laughs> and he created Adam, bees upon him, after noon Friday. Like, what the heck? I thought this is billions of years. Does it say that he created Adam after noon? Do you see how they lie to you, my friends? It says in the front of you, he created Adam at a Friday afternoon. Let us go back to the Quran. Not only this is enough to get them busted, but we will show you more. Because here, the verses they mentioned to us, by the way, all the verses they quote for us in the article, it's include a big huge disaster why because the Muslims in their article they said that the universe is created first and then the earth was created after is that correct read with me please read with me <clears throat> all those days are on the throne the frame of reference creation is still uh, uh, still the throne where all our God says he created the heaven and the earth and everything between including you and me in six days that means referring to the period of the existence of the earth has been existence for two days did they say there the word earth guys did they, did they say in the article the word earth that's mean that he referring to the period of the existence of the earth has been exist for two days out of the six days. I'm going to have to stop it here. Okay. But it'll but be continued. They Bye. said to us that the universe in the previous line